a wrong side of the road. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out a pretty crazy mod for the police car here. I didn't actually know this was a real thing, uh, but apparently it is. It's called a tire grabber and the concept is you run up on some dude who's running from the cops. You lower this thing down. I mean, look at it. It's like some sort of transformer. And uh, when you run into their back tire with this, the ropes catch the back tire and basically stop the perp. And there, it's an, I guess it's a real thing because the guy who made this mod actually posted a video of these working in real life. They're pretty cool. Anyway, I haven't actually tried this in game yet. Uh, I do have a little bit of worry. I feel like... If I run into somebody going pretty fast, this might cause some sort of physics explosion, which uh, BMG is known for. But I have high hopes. If this works, this could be better than the spike strips. That, it just sounds awesome to me. So we're just going to spawn up some sort of vehicle here. Uh, how about an older one? How about a like bone stock Legrand? I feel like that's the perfect car that would be running from the cops in this situation. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to use him. We're going to back ourselves up a little bit, and I am super excited to try to uh, test this out, guys. Now, uh, if you enjoy BMG on my channel and you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button down below. It really uh, just helps out the channel. So if you haven't done that already, make sure to do that and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, let's get our lights fired up here, and let's see if the tire grabber works. So we're going to set him to flee from us. And we are just going to follow him for a second. Let us both get up to speed. And then we are going to lower the device. Now, I imagine you want to go pretty straight into his back tire here. So let's just get as close as we can. Oh, God, I'm starting to get nervous. We're already going almost 100 miles an hour. I hope there isn't like a speed limit to using their, these things. There might very well be. But anyway, here we go. Contact. Oh, oh, it worked. <laughs> oh, it fell off, but it doesn't matter. We already incapacitated him, basically. I'm pretty sure that just... Oh, now I'm going to stab his car. That pretty much just destroyed his entire back tire, did it not? Yeah, that's uh, pretty well shredded. That was really, really cool. I kind of want to see that in... Uh, I kind of want to see that in slow motion, just to see what it looks like when it's actually getting wrapped around the V or the uh, wheel. So we're going to go ahead and slow this down just a tad here. All right, so it goes into the wheel. Oh no, no it didn't. <laughs> oh, but my the, the big pinchers uh stabbed the tire. I think I may have messed that up though. Oh wow, we're picking him up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what if I like stab him? Oh no, they're broken. What if I like stab him and then lift it up? Am I wait? Am I supposed to do that? That would actually kind of make sense. Uh, here, let's let's try this again. So maybe if I like hit him with it and then pull him up. I don't know. I don't know why that would be any different. I think you're pretty much just supposed to run into him as straight as you can. But I just want to see what will happen if I if I kind of lift it up. Am I gonna lift his car off the ground and send him into a tumble roll or something? That would be cool. Anyway, here we go. I'm just going to go kind of like this. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Now lift. Oh, my God. I think that's working. Oh, look at it wrap around the tire. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. We don't want to get stuck to him. Uh-oh, there goes the hubcap. Uh-oh. It looks like a physics explosion is going to happen any second. Whoa, there it is. There. <laughs> I see it ripped his back to... Uh, his back door off. He's still going though. Absolute mad lad. What is going on here? We have broken into the fourth dimension. That's what happened. <laughs> All right. So uh, this also works with the uh, the SUVs as well. So if you have an SUV type police car, it should work as well. So I want to try that out really quick. So let's go ahead and stop the AI and replace this with. Um, what do we see? what do we got here? Uh, come on, load up, buddy. We have where is it? Uh, 
the Roamer, I believe, has a working one. There it is. Yes. Wheel grabber. Oh, that thing is so cool looking, man. All right, so obviously to go with the big police car, we need a big perp. So I'm thinking some sort of uh, D series here. So, uh, or maybe, ooh, the Blackfoot could work as well. It's pretty elevated. All right, yeah, you know what? We'll go with the Blackfoot. Why the heck not? I, I want a uh, wheel grabber for this. Anyway, we're just going to go with the Fuji edition. I don't know why. I just think it looks cool. And uh, I'm pretty sure the, the Jeep or the Blackfoot, sorry, is pretty slow. So we shouldn't have any problems catching up to him here. At least I hope not. Whoops. I'll set him to flee. And let's see how this goes here. Oh, man. I forgot how fast this roamer was. Yeah, we're not going to have any problems at all. Stop! This is your final warning or I'm going to absolutely destroy your car with this thing, man. All right. You asked for it. Here we go. I'm going to go for the other side this time just to see... Ketchup, ketchup, whoop. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh. <laughs> well, it was definitely on the wheel, but it did. It looked like it didn't want to uh, get caught up. It was just kind of hanging off. I mean, we still got him. What's so stab him right through the heart and then fold it up. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. We probably don't want to do that. Let's try that again. I'll go for the other wheel this time just to see if maybe... It'll catch on. It didn't really want to right there. That's a uh, kind of weird. All right, get this down. There we go. All right, it's deployed. So let's get it right where we need it here. Right about there. There we go. That actually kind of worked, but our uh, oh, <laughs> our pinchers again got stuck in the car, which uh, you know honestly doesn't make it. Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm a raging bull. You know, if the uh, if the um, if the rope or whatever it is fails, you know, just using these as two ba like swords works pretty well. He's not going anywhere. All right, I want to try that one more time just because it's so cool and so satisfying. I'm gonna go very very gently this time, very gently, because I want this to work so bad. Come on. There we go. Oh, it just fell off. Dang it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, before we do some actual testing with this uh, in an actual map and not just in a straight line, I do want to try one more just because I want to see if this thing has any size uh, boundaries. So we're going to try the T-Series, one of the biggest vehicles in the game. Uh, just to see if we can stop a T-Series with one of these grabbers. So we're just going to spawn up the default version. We want, we don't want to get crazy here because I feel like if it had more tires than this, it might not work. But this one has uh, eight? No, wait. Two, four, six. Yeah, six tires. So if it can work with this, I feel like it should be able to work with just about anything. So let's set him to flee. We're going to have to give him quite a while to uh, get up to speed here. But uh, hopefully, if this works, this is going to be crazy. It's, it's going to do one of three things. It's going to do absolutely nothing. Two, it's going to stop him. Or three, it's going to cause an unimaginable physics explosion, crash the game, kill my computer, and end my YouTube career. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. But let's go ahead and find out. Why is it so messed up? Already? Whoop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we got fire. Uh-oh. He's still going, though. He's very, very determined. Sir, do you know that you're on fire? No. I just po I just punctured the tires. Wow. These actually are... <laughs> I don't want to say they work better than the tire grabbers, but they work pretty freaking good. These things on the front, the deployment system. All right. Let's try that again because that was so freaking cool. And I forgot to put the lights on last time. So I'm just going to let him go for a minute. We will be right back once he uh, actually gets up to a usable speed here. All right, so we're up to highway speeds. I think that's probably good enough. So let's slowly inch in there. <laughs> that didn't work. It seems to only really like to work on the right side. I'm not really sure why. Let's see if we can like puncture those gas tanks again. Yep. Did we? I don't think we did it. Anyway. All right, so we can stop the T-Series. You got to be very careful, though, and it's probably going to cause a big explosion, which is kind of awesome. But, yeah, it's kind of a miss-miss. But let's try it in an actual real-world scenario here. So 
We're going to go to, where should we go? Mm, I don't know. We're, we're somewhere we haven't really been to lately. Hey, we haven't, we, you know what? We haven't messed around on Utah in quite a while, so I think this is a perfect place. We're going to start at the tourist area. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's at the top of the mountain. Perfect for this. Let's do it. All right, so I actually really liked the um, the Romer edition of this thing the most. So I'm going to use one of those. Uh, there we go. I'm going to use this one. I don't know. I just I just like the way it drives, man. Uh, and we're going to chase um, we're going to chase another Jeep. Uh, not the not the modded Jeep, though. The Beeman Jeep version of a Jeep, the Hopper, one of my favorite vehicles in the game, in the stock game, at least. And where are they? Uh, yeah, and I think the Roamer's pretty capable, so we're going to use the Sports Edition as our bad guy here, and I think if the physics explodes on this one, the the, uh, the hoppers fall apart pretty easily, so I think it'll be very, very satisfying. Anyway, let's, let's start this up. I should probably put this down because there is a lot of rocks everywhere, so I don't want to ruin it before we even... Get to get to him, so we're gonna set him to flee. And once we get a good shot, we'll take it. But for now, let's just follow him and see what he does here. Whoa! Careful, careful. Definitely a lot of sliding here. Slow down. Pull over. You're wanted for driving that atrocious car. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Okay, there's a lot of turns coming up. Probably not the best area for me to attempt this in. So we're gonna hold off just a minute until we're on more level ground and less turns because I don't want to screw this up. I got one chance to do this. That's it. I don't know if I can just reload it. So we got one chance to take him down. That's about it. So maybe once we get down to the bottom of the mountain, I, I'm kind of hoping he crashes before we get there. Oh, you're going too fast, buddy. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you know what you're doing. It just looked like you were a little bit out of control there. Maybe I'm out of control. No! That didn't happen. That didn't happen. We're going to use our Forza powers here and pretend that that didn't happen. Just go back in time. Oh, man. I should have had different tires on for this. He's probably long gone now, isn't he? Or, you know, we could just pretend that it's another unit. There he is. Okay, another unit. Oh, man. We're going to pretend there was three units with this specific add-on to their car. Because I am incompetent at driving, apparently. Okay. We got an open road here. If we're going to do it, now's the time. Unless he goes on the highway. We're going to lower this down in preparation. Where is he? There he is. Come on. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Got him. Got him. Did I get him? Where did the, where did the tape go? No. <laughs> oh, man. The tape didn't even do anything to me. Okay. You know what? We're going to back up just a tad. Spawn ourselves here. And take him back just a tad and pretend like that didn't happen because that was pretty embarrassing, actually. So, we're going to go backwards here. Spin it around. Oh, stunt driver mode. There we go. Turn on our lights. You need to pull over, dude. I'm tired of dealing with this. All right. Before he has to turn. There we go. That was solid. It still fell off, though, man. Come on, dude. All right, I'm just gonna keep doing this until it actually works. <laughs> How about that? I think I did knock a piece off his like undercarriage, but that's about it. All right, here we go. Where are you going? Oh, I slowed down too much. It just fell off. Dang it! He's going back up the hill. What are you doing, man? There's nothing up there. Oh God! There we go. Okay, that was a result. Oh, <laughs> kind of broke the map a little bit. He's gonna keep going though. He is going to keep going. All right. You want to play this game, little boy? How about I respawn again? And I'll come I'll come for your other tire. How about that? It's, you can tell wherever he is because there's just spikes of broken game all over the sky. All right. Let's see if we can get that other one here. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't aware that this had a live grenade attached to the end of it. Jesus! Are you okay, dude? <laughs> Here, I'll help you out, buddy. I'll save your life right now. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what did we learn today? 
Uh, this is new technology, so you know there's always gonna be a few um, a few dents in the uh, in the timeline. But overall, it's a lot of fun to use, and when it does work, boy howdy, does it work! It's actually really freaking cool, and I, I'm I'm happy I'm gonna be happy to see the progression of this mod. I hope he keeps working on it, and um, yeah, that's about all I got, guys. If you'd like to download this mod for yourself, try it out. Uh, I will have a link down below in the description. Definitely check it out because it's really freaking cool. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode of Beam and G Drive. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And join my Discord where you can chat with me and leave suggestions for future videos and talk with like-minded people. Stuff like that. Link for that is down below as well. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Man, I really, I really wrecked this thing, didn't I? Yeah. I wrecked a lot of stuff in this video, but...